Man of experience. Donkey Donkey fly in the house. Well, I don't know why Chase did that. But that? I had to go and click on everything. Oh, yeah, the image, image reset today? Yeah, I had to put in the, the link for the, the Facebook and I had to put in the streaming. Uh -huh. But I got it. We up. We up. We up in the chicken wings. Cinco means five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cinco means five, but I don't know what the other the Mayo means. <laughs> Maybe it's the fifth of May. Hey, it's Mimi with Frozen Rooster. Come on in and check out our chick or treat. Wait, maybe that is with me. Oh, snap. I think I might be smart. I think it means the 5th of May. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. That's what somebody said? No, no. It just clicked in my head. It's, it's five. Cinco. Cinco means five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco. Cinco means five. Maybe it means the 5th of May. <laughs> uh, I know what you're telling me. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, Cinco de Mayo, no, don't know, Amy. Cinco de Mayo, don't know, Amy. Toki Doki, Cinco de Mayo, don't know, Amy. Yeah, she know. Yeah, she yeah. definitely know. I know. Okay, fifth, right? But Domayo, Cinco de Mayo, just mean, it just means fifth? What's trending in America? I'm Joe Navichel. It just means five? What's Cinco, right? The Mayo. What's the Mayo? Is that day? Fifth day? Because the Mayo, I guess that is maybe day. Oh, fifth of May. You're right. Fifth of May? So, uh, but what is the meaning behind it, though? I don't know. Maybe they just the day they set aside? <laughs> Mm. All right, y'all. It's 17 minutes after the hour. You guys are locked into your favorite eating ride. It's the Joe Like Joe. How y'all doing today? Uh, it's single. Oh, it's not single to Maya question. It's not. It's not. But Friday is going to be. Days. So. I guess in my ignorant bliss, it's, it's the 5th of May. Mm. You yeah, gotta, hey, say who figured it out, though. Um, Toki Doki Fly on, in Japan. Don't do that. Don't do huh? that. She just confirmed it. I figured it out. No, you guessed it. She told us. Just because you guessed don't mean you didn't no, figure no, no, it no, out. No, 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 no. I'm going to give Toki Doki in Japan all the credit. She told us exactly what it meant. You guessed. I, Toki you Toki just happened to possibly be right. She, she confirmed my guess, okay? Okay. She confirmed it. But you guess she knew. That's the difference between guessing and knowing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can guess all day. How, okay, how many times you guessed on your math test and you had it right? <laughs> by like 50 50? No, nah, that was about 20. Okay, then. So, like I said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, so we knew you had Cinco, right? Because everybody know, you know, Uno, Uno, Dos, Tres, Cuatro, Cinco. We knew you had five, right? Mm. It was the other part. I mean, I just I just mapped it together with my common sense, though. Joe. Robin says the fifth of May. Okay, yeah. that is okay. So I'm being told from Robin, it says that's Mexican Independence Day. Oh, it's like Fourth of July. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. So it's a mean party. Yeah. So we yeah. party. So we go party Cinco de Mayo. We need to play some pitbull. Play some pitbull. What's the pitbull that is? Yeah. We like to party. Okay, bro, we're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, now. That's deep. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the show, y'all. Hey, 66245. <laughs> really, sir? All right, so y'all make sure you guys stay locked in at the bottom. Of the we got the, uh, y'all know what time it is. The man who brings you all the tea, even though I don't like him, but he, he be up on that tea. Folks be calling him and sending him all the information. Mm -hmm. It's the cliffhanger, so you got to stay locked in for that at the bottom of the hour. But, I got to say this, when it comes to, you know, you, you asked me the question what your friend was asking you about the, um, why do women don't hang around with the guys when they're financially struggling? Yeah. And I do believe women believe they see a man as being weak and not able to protect them, you know, when they don't have any money. And I have to say this, though. That's I think, weird. but no, it, it may be weird, nephew, but I'm going to be very honest with the American people, right? <clears throat> Most women 
that are dating guys or in a relationship with guys, nephew, mm -hmm. they don't love them. And they're not in love with them. That's facts. You know, women say the words, I love you, right? Just like men do. I'm not I, I'm not saying that men don't, don't mean it either, but I'm being honest now in 2023. Oh, we're going to be even more honest, but keep going. A, a lot of women do not love that guy. They love what that guy have and what he can provide for them. And once you stop providing that for them, they will leave you. I mean, that's, that's because think about it. Why would you leave somebody when they're struggling if you love them? <laughs> now, listen, if the man got a good work ethic, he's out there trying, right? Mm. Why do you leave? Why do you give him a hard time? Why do you throw the, that? Why do you throw those things in his face when he's not able to do some of the things you may want him to do? Uh, the good ones that I've seen is going to dig in and help her man. Like the young lady, Tabitha Brown. She did what she had to go do. She retired her husband. She took a whole lot of flack for that. But she said, when I had nothing, he supported me and, made, and let me do everything I needed to do. So when she got to the point where she is now, in stores and a brand, she said, baby, retire. To me, that's love. That's love. This stuff that y'all call it love because he can do this and do that. What can you do if your man, if the man you love can't do what he needs to go do right now? Are you really going to dig your heels in, get out there and get that second job until your man fulfill his dream? It ain't a lot of women in America that's going to do that for their man, nephew. It's just not. It's not. I, it's not. It's not. And nowadays it's kind of more, um, it's more popularized for you to, if you're going to date, you need to be able to handle everything. Yeah. And... I do get it to an extent. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? If you if you're gonna ask a girl out, at least be able to pay for the dinner. That's you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm cool with that. That got broke down to me in a different way. Mm -hmm. To where, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But when we get past the introduction uh -huh. of the whole, let's see if it's gonna work out or we're mm -hmm. gonna be in a relationship type of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It, it's it's different out here for us. And like, and like how a lot of women say, yo, it's a lot of women that go get it. It's a lot of women that's pretty freaking good as far as financially. You know, but this is what I'm going to say. The independent women, bro, the true independent women, when they ride with you, they got you. Because guess what? They're not looking for you for the bag. They got their own bag. They want you for other things. And I would tell any guy, seriously, man, get with a woman that knows who she is. And when she says she's independent, she's truly independent and not on, and she ain't dependent on food stamps. She ain't dependent on uh, Section 8. You see what I'm saying? But I'm being real here, right? Because you can holler you independent, but you got food stamps. You can holler you independent, but you you on welfare. I mean, you on, you on Section 8. That ain't independent to me. If you take away those things, you broke like me. That's a problem. Oh, yeah, hold on. And let's rationalize this real quick. Go ahead. Everybody independent until they find somebody else that's a little bit more, you know what I mean, flexible than they is. But that's the problem in society, right? When you when dudes are caking you, again, they're not falling in love or liking the dude. They're liking your car. They're liking your bag. They're liking your credit card. They're liking the money that you're spending. They're doing everything in the world besides liking you, mm. the person that's providing the luxuries or the assets to their life. And once you, the provider, stop providing those things that they like, you're no longer needed. And that's a lot of things to your friend. He needs to understand that, right? That the woman, it sounds like he didn't been through a heartbreak. So the woman that <laughs> oh, did, yeah. but, but I'm just saying, the woman that said that, or the woman that he feel like that way, bro, that's okay. God just saved you. Oh, yeah. Seriously. If yeah, a woman, said he died book. Ex man, when a woman walk away from you because of that, bro, because you're struggling, man, let her go. And, and, and I'm glad you just highlighted one of those women. There uh -huh. is a, because uh, we got a video from a woman that gave it a little real that we couldn't really. I don't know if they got, I don't know if they got that loaded up yet. They do. What, 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 okay, they do? Yeah, they do. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. I saw that. <laughs> this threw us for a loop. Go ahead and play it. My guy for another guy just because he's got more than my guy. Because trust and believe, if I if I like you, if I love you, it's because I see your greatness. 
But if you were a street cleaner at that time, I see your greatness. That's why I'm with you. I see the king in you. Wait a minute. What did she say? She said she see the king in you. She won't be with him financially? What? No, she said she wouldn't worry about um, him financially. Because she sees the king in him. <laughs> what? Why would she leave and go to another guy? Hold on, play that again. Play that again. <laughs> what, play what, that you need to marinate again? Yeah, I need that to marinate. Hold on, play that one more time. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way. For another guy just because he got more than my guy. Because you have to believe, if I, if I like you, if I love you, it's because I see your greatness. But if you were a street cleaner at that time, I see your greatness. That's why I'm with you. I see the king in you. Play that one more time. <laughs> She see the king in you, even if you a street sweeper, Joe. I feel some kind of way right now. Why? Cause doggone it, man! Most of the no, nope, most of the women I ever been with never so great. <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing. I like what she said because it goes to the point that I was making. Mm. Most women don't like, don't fall in love with the man. They fall in love with the thing the man has. Mm. And she's saying, why would I do But that? when she's saying I love it, she's not lying. She's saying, why would I do that when I love you? Right, but exactly. But when a lot of women say this to them, bro, they're not, they're not lying when they say, I love you. They're just not finishing the sentence. I love no, you. I love you. Just <laughs> <the things> <laughs> <laughs> I, love you there, for this. I don't see your greatness, but it's okay as long as you got these three. It's a show like a show. You got we on the cliff. We gonna go off the cliff now. You start staying locked in. We'll see you guys on the other side. <coughs> oh Lord, <laughs> my feelings hurt, man. My I'm feelings are uh, hurt. Oh Lord, my feelings. that hurt. I, I want, hey, I want a woman. I want that woman to say that. I want a woman that's gonna say that to me. And I she'll never you, leave me. I love what you do for me, Joe. 
Oh, I love that you just paid for that meal. <laughs> I don't leave my ex for another man. I left for my own peace and sanity. Well, Erica, we know you good. Man, I love my man because you. of him, not be. Oh, don't no, here trying to clarify the mm -hmm. statement. Don't be out there trying to clarify yeah. stuff. Uh uh, I ain't gonna let y'all get away with that today. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, 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 hang tight, y'all. Get your finger. Here we go. I need to hear from the women that don't love me. <laughs> oh Lord. Hi, right, y'all. You know what that is. It's your nephew on the ones and twos. Your nephew, Cliff. But I do want to remind you, you are still locking it into the Joe Lockett Show. Just right now, we are entering into the cliffhanging part of the segment. And I got some cliffhangers for you today. It's the cliffhanging show segment. Show like segment. It. Look at it. Golly, Joe. That's why she don't see your greatness. <laughs> <laughs> she just loved that I skip give those cliffhangers. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, first off, Ed Sheeran. Last time we entered with Ed Sheeran, he was in a legal battle because he was. of the, um, the sample that he claimed he was doing with uh, Marvin Gaye. Yeah. He's been found guilty. <laughs> and Ed Sheeran is promising to quit music. He ain't got no choice if he found guilty, bro. He broke. Yeah, because they finna... Oh, Marvin Family finna get this dude. Oh, he broke. Oh, yeah. Marvin Family finna get this dude. But I went through the track. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a, his Grammy-winning song that is up uh, for the uh, the copyright claim for plagiarizing. The song sounds... It, you can see where they was trying to switch it, mm -hmm. but it sounds too... It's, <laughs> Uh, for lack of for describing it better, mm. it sounds like the white version to his song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, Aaron, you are too freaking gifted, bro. It just finally took me lazy. time to go. Yeah, you got lazy. You got lazy. You got lazy, bro. You are too gifted. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, I guess that's because, because think about it, you probably got away with it before. <clears throat> hey, good point. He probably got away with it before. Probably. We had to go back to a discography. But he did win a Grammy for it, so. Well. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> he did win a Grammy, so. <laughs> you see why Marvin Gaye is what he is. Yeah. Next up, Met Gala. That just happened not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Um, It is trending. And from here, we finna enter to some shenanigans. Okay. Because everybody I'm finna mention that was in the Met Gala has a story. <laughs> yeah. First off, ASAP, Rocky, and Ms. Rihanna. As far as with outfits, Ms. Rihanna for me, she kind of got the one in the top three. I liked it. Now, when she put her hood on, I was out of it. I was like, this kind of stupid. But when she took her hood off and just had the Lincoln, mm -hmm. and you saw her face, I was like, all right, that's Rihanna. Okay. So, ASAP and Rihanna, they made their appearance. ASAP looked pretty stupid. But at the same time, it's fashion. Right. I don't know fashion, I right. guess. But he looked pretty stupid. But he is trending because he is on video jumping the gate to the mate gala, jumping over somebody's shoulder, using it as a prop. Now, you can tell the girl got a little hurt. She did get a little hurt. Uh -huh. But well, she you? says she's not trying to press any charges. Uh -huh. I guess she liked Mr. ASAP Rocky. But if you saw the video... Why is he jumping the gate? Why is he? That's my question. <laughs> Did they put this dude out? Did he show up late? Did, you know, they like, probably had it behind bands. I was <laughs> mad at him. Hey, if you would have saw his outfit, I would have banned the dude too. She like, like hey, well, you ain't finna walk around with me with this. I got this dress on. You finna come up here with this little dress yeah, yeah, on yeah, in a yeah, suit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand. But anyway, <laughs> Next up, uh, boxer. Deontay Wilder. He mm -hmm. was not at the Met Gala, but mm -hmm. he was arrested at L.A. for possession of a gun. He said, and he quotes, I would rather be safe than sorry. The end. That's my dude, man. I know him personally. He's a really good, good, really good friend, man. Um, I, I rock with him. So. I, hey, yeah. I don't, that's if I'm dude. thinking about it, LA too? Yeah, that's my dude. I don't blame him. Yeah, man, I really he, don't blame him. Nah, that's my dude. I ain't got nothing to say, but man, do you. Yeah, they can get on with that. Yeah. For other folks that met, uh, that met, uh, made an appearance at the Met Gala, we got folks like Tiana uh, Taylor. Yeah. She's out here showing her hips. She's been taking too many pictures. 
<laughs> Showing her hips. I ain't mad at it though. She was on Miami. Well, you, you, you smelling way too hard. I'm just people. saying, Tiana. Uh, I, I like. I, hold on. I can't entangle her though. I can't because her, her 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 man is. I like him. He uh, Shumpert is amazing. Anyway, next off, you got Cardi. Cardi won for me. Her dress was amazing. Cardi dress was amazing. Cardi had on a dress. Cardi had on a dress. Okay. And that crap was fire. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Then. Yeah, okay. she stole the show for me. Then you got, like I said, uh, Rihanna, Miss Miami, Young Miami. Her and Diddy <laughs> are making trending news. I thought they broke up. They break up. They in entanglement. They not tangled no more. They think they in a relationship. You know what? Yeah. Why don't we just hear from them? If you saw the video, he was sweating, sweating. I don't know whether that was the suit or maybe that was the talk that he know he was in the half of Miss Young Miami. Because if you don't know, Miss Miami is a city girl, all right? <laughs> city girls don't get tied down. So, whether you think it's an entanglement, whether you think it's a, a get-together, maybe they just hanging out, they vibing, maybe she a date. Who knows? Who cares? But let me know. <laughs> and lastly... The late night shows are on strike. Hmm? Have you heard about this? Yes, yes they're on strike. Yes. Oh man, I, I gotta go. I, they, they, got open, they got some openings. They got some now, then. For the folks, don't panic. <laughs> but for the folks out there, uh -huh. the late night shows are on strike. They have been having um, negotiations that's been falling through. The Hollywood screeners, um, they have been trying to get negotiations for this contract deal for an extra three years. Mm. For the film and television. So this gets spanned through more than just TV. Mm. The Writers Guild of America, WGA, has filed a strike for all 11,500 of their members to sit out from, being from places like Cali, mm -hmm. New York, mm -hmm. and etc. And the shows that are going to be implemented from this is the Jimmy Fallon show, <laughs> Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, <laughs> Seth Myers, literally every late night show. <laughs> literally every late night we show. We're going to see how funny y'all are now for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need your writer. material. We're going to see how bad you are now. Are you that bad man that you were without your writer? Yeah, yeah. We need to see what you what you doing. Mm. How you doing? Hey, those have been your cliffhangers. So now let's go into the cliffside vibes for today. As far as the cliffside vibes, first off, we have Black Party. We have first off Black Party dancing. Gotta re gotta re up that song. Because mm. it's too too good for the springtime. Mm. Uh, Buddy, Happy Hour with T Pain. That mm. is a very good song. I think you would like that. Okay. Um, next up, Janae Aiko for the girls out there that want to be city girls, but you you need to dress it down for the late nights. Mm. Um, On My Way featuring Miller J. Uh, next up, you got Lucky Day, How Much Can a Heart Take featuring Yeba. Mm. That is a good song. Mm. You'll like that too, because it got a good sam sample in there. Next up, Music Soul Child. Everybody should know this song, So Beautiful. That is a classic by him. Anna Wise, Count My Blessings featuring Denzel Curry. That's a great song. Frank Ocean, you should know this song too. Nova Kane, you should only know it because he hasn't made no more new music for real, for real. So mm -hmm. Nova Kane by Frank Ocean. D'Angelo, Untitled. You look like D'Angelo, so I was like, yeah, it might as well. I look like D'Angelo? I mean, if you took the beard out and gave you braids. Man, you need to keep going. <laughs> How does it feel? Now, I can say like D'Angelo. <laughs> Okay, now. Next up, we got Anderson Pack, Good Days, featuring Jasmine Sullivan. 
And then lastly, Joe Budden, Love For You, featuring Eminem. Mm. Those have been your um, your cliffside vibes for today. If you guys got anything else, any other news, anything else you want covered for the show, please hit us up on Hanging Cliffside on Facebook. Or you can hit us in the links in the bio if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch or whatever it is on mm. social media. Hey, we're going to hit you guys on the other side of the show to see where we are going to be going as far as Cinco de Mayo. Women. Yeah, because Cinco de Mayo is still stomping us, We even though we figured it out. <laughs> did, did we really? <laughs> did we really? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the other side. All right, y'all, I'm back. I am back. And then there's that 866-245-5480. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, y'all. It's your boy. We're back in the house. Love, nephew. Don't nobody love him. Stop it. Celebration of uh, Puerto, um, uh, Puerto Rico and Mexico. Okay. Okay. It's a celebration of um, Cubia in Mexico. Free from France. Oh, okay. See? Okay. Tokyo Doki has got me. Okay. Yeah, it's the liberation is. from France. Yeah. That, it, that educated me. Okay. Educated gotcha. Me. Okay. So, but we celebrate like it's our, <laughs> we celebrate like it's our liberation. Mm -hmm. But I get it. Hey, man. Cinco de Mayo, we actually, we're doing it this Friday. Uh, we're going to be live at La Calle out in Trustville. Google it. La Calle. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, Toki Doki. Fly, she's a, yeah, she's a bad woman. Appreciate you. All my life is bad. Habits. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. 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 All right, y'all. Coming up on the other side of the Joe Like Show, if y'all are hanging out with us out here on um on social media, if your girlfriend that you've been dating for a year says she's taking a job out of town, do you stay with her or no. your man? Do you stay? No. Do you do, or do you try to make it work? I tell you not no. 866-245. Been with for a year, though, bro. I don't care. 866 Do you stay? It's going to be the year we don't be together. But I'm going to use your turn, though. You in love. Nah, look at you. You in love, you in love with this woman. Nah, look at you. No, nah, but I'm saying, but you in love with her. Now, that's what you mean. That's, that's the caveat you mean, though. You in love with her. What you going to do, Joe? I'm in love with you. Uh, facing that thing right now. Ooh. Okay, okay. Hey, call me, Towns. Let me know what you're doing. What's your thoughts on it? 866-245-5048. Let me know what you're thinking. Yeah, we need to know. I, I mean, seriously, because I, we have a situation, and you're not the only one going through it. Um, I need to know. Been been together about over a year, almost two years. Um, but the job that, you know, she's been offered, it's paying them dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's paying the real, the real bank. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's 45 minutes after that, you guys. Y'all heard it like, oh, yeah, we're going to be out there being ignorant, and y'all going to see us in person. I'm saying how ignorant we... You gonna be? Are you gonna be nice? Are you tame? Oh no! 
don't even know how you asked that. All right, y'all. Y'all come out there, man. We're going to have some special guests following out with us, hanging out with us, man, following through, man. Uh, this Friday, we're going to be out there from 4 until. Make sure you guys come out and hang out with us. Like, oh, yeah, out there in Trustville. 866-245-5480. Yes, sir. Then on the 866... Hey, Towns, give me a call. It's 866-245-5480. 866-245-5480. Give us a call. Coming up right now, this portion of the show, of course, is brought by the one and only Jim Palmer, the law firm. Man, when I say these guys are big and they, as my lawyer, and I'm proud to call them my lawyer, I'm going to be your lawyer too. Mm -hmm. If you got problems, if you got questions, you don't know who to trust and what lawyer to trust, I trust Parkman Law Firm. Give them a call at 205-573-6001. That's 205-573-6001. He's my lawyer and make him yours. All right. Now, I got to get into this before I get out of here. Nephew, if you're going, if, if, if you're dating a girl for a year, <laughs> get some change, almost two years. Mm. She comes to you and says, baby, you know I love you, right? Mm. You know I love you, right? And you're like, yeah. I got something to tell you. Okay. I don't like how she approached me right now. No, but, 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 baby, baby, don't, 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 it's, 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 it's not, it's not bad. Uh-uh. Nah, it's gonna be bad. But, baby, <laughs> why, baby, why you not, listen, listen, can I get it out, Cliff, can I get it out, can I just get it out? Yeah, just say it, just say it. Okay. We've been together for a minute, right? Right. And, um, uh, my boss came to me today, and he said, um, they got a job off for me. Okay. An advancement. I'm getting a promotion. Oh, word? Yeah, that ain't bad. All right, money, money, money. And it's going to be, you know, almost pretty much double my salary. What? All right. But, I see you. But, baby, come through. But there's something else to it. What? It's in another state. And Say what? It, it, it's in another state. And um, I accepted the job. So you single, right? No, 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 baby. So you single, what, what, right? What are you, what are you saying? I, I, I'm telling you, I'm making double the money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, but, I'm making, baby, I'm making double the money for us. In no, you're not. No, you're not. You, you said you can, you, and you accepted it, right? Yes. No, you're not. You're not making it for us. You made that for me. Why do you say that, baby? Because you're going to be in another state. Yes. And I want you to come with me. You want me to come with you? Yes. Oh. I can't do that. <laughs> I would like to, but I got a job down here. I can't just give up. I don't know if that job is going to be in this state. I can't just do that. But later I got on, a lot of stuff tied but, but, down. But later on, you, we, you know, we can... You're not finna, you're not finna hold it down until I find a job. Let's, let's go ahead and cut the BS. You're not finna hold it down. You're not so so you said you don't want me to advance in life. You don't No, advance. Advance your life. We're just gonna be single. So I, I, I have to do this without you. You already chose to do this without me. Yeah. You, you. 866 <laughs> That is the scenario. That is what's happening. What would you do? Hey, bro. Seriously, what would you do if your girlfriend went ahead and made that choice? I'm sorry. I know how that sounds. I, I, I know if you're listening to that scenario, you're like, God, Lee, that's messed up, Cliff. You, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please don't talk to nephew like that. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, as soon as you, let's be honest, as soon as you approach a dude with that type of tone, he already knows it's going to be some weekends. He already know, bro. I am, I'm not your, all fairness. No. She deserves whatever promotion that she's gonna get. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure it was well thought out, and she earned it. Right, she earned it. She earned it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta use them props. She earned it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. But let's be a hundred. Uh -huh. <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> and I, like I said in the scenario, uh -huh. bro, you not finna hold it down for your dude till he find another job that's at least on the couch. Right, if you if you find yourself in this situation. Call the most ignorant show in the land. Y'all see how ignorant we are. 866-245-5480. If you find yourself in this situation, give us a call right here on the Joe Lockett Show. I'll pay for it. 
248-245-5480. Let's get up to the phone line. Tams, you're locked into your favorite eating while we eating it. How about you? Hey, Joe. Hey. Where are you calling hey. me from? Canada. Canada? Oh, man, we up in Canada. What? We this up in Canada. Canada. What? What? We made the Canada, baby. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was happy, but I'm still happy. We're in Tennessee. Yeah. I thought you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we ain't trying to do it, though. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so Tam, tell me, are you, did you find yourself in a situation like this? Yes. Okay, talk to me. What is it? How, how did it go? I came to Ever. Uh huh? I had a job um, offer in Huntsville. Okay. And uh, we are discussing. Uh, whether we're going to continue the relationship or not. How long y'all been together? Ten months. Ten months. <sighs> he got a job offer. Um, permanent job? Yes, probably. Do you love him? I like him. <laughs> he, 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 like oh, he's single. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is over. She said, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It was the pause that did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> he gone. Uh, hey, hey, bro, if you listen to Joe Like a Show, bro, you lost your girl. Yeah, green and pastures, bro. <laughs> She's not going. <laughs> she, she, Tam, t- hey, Tam would be, hey, Tams is available in, t- in Tennessee, y'all. She, she, there's a new, there's a new woman on the market. Yeah. You know, as soon as he leaves, she, she, she's available again. Mm-hmm. He got. Well, we already, we already live uh, an hour and a half apart already. Uh huh. Long distance relationship now. Uh-huh. So when he moves to Huntsville, it's going to be what, probably three hours. Mm-hmm. So how, how how has it been with the hour long relationship? Has it been good for those ten months, or has it been rough? Yeah, it'd be something. It's rough. Mm. It's mm. been it's rough. He he works a different shift than I work. Mm. So it's been it's been a So can I ask you a question? And you don't. I can't just pop in a car and, and go on a whim. Yeah, this is very true. Well, let me ask you this question, okay? Uh, and you don't have to answer because I know you know you know we have uh, you know thousands of people listen to the show. But if you could, I would appreciate it. Why did you get into this relationship? That's what I was going to ask. Because <laughs> um, the brother's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Hold on. At least he's real about it. Hold on. And, and how you said that, it says it all. It says it. <laughs> hey, all. it made her go against her own better judgment. Oh yeah. She, he, he, he that, he that, he that better judgment fine. Hey, you heard the brother. You heard the brother on. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. He chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but I'm not sure to listen to what it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're not gonna we're not for the cowboy. <laughs> but but hey, 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 but Tam, you he ain't know the husband will be the side thing. <laughs> <laughs> say what, Tam? <laughs> Tam, did I hear you correct? What did you say? I said he'll probably go to husband will be the side thing. Oh my lord. <laughs> I ain't mad at him. You know what I'm saying? I I, I can't I can't handle I can't handle everywhere. So uh bro, you know, go on. on. But are you gonna miss I know you're gonna miss him then. Uh for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he fine and good, didn't he? <laughs> he probably <laughs> killing me. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Damn, we're gonna let you go. Job, job available. <laughs> Let me see, hold on. Okay, but hold on now. I'm in Alabama. And Tennessee. And how far, how many hours is that? Oh, my God. Hour and a half. An hour and two a half. Hour and a half, two hours. Does okay. it matter? Mm. You know something. I hopped in a car to go to an hour and a half away. So, hey. You know, hey. You know something, Tam? She tell said she what. already been there. Hey, you know something? <laughs> tell you what, uh. I'll be in your DMs after the show. 866 Hey, and if you can, come on down, you know, one of these times and come down to the show and hang out with us on the live show. Tam, we appreciate that. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, we love you. We yeah, would appreciate And we would. Come on down like, oh, yeah, we'll be down on Friday. You may be not getting it on Friday, but we'll be down every Wednesday <laughs> starting next week. So if you can, come on down to one of the shows and catch us. Cool. That was great. And you may catch yourself aside, dude. Going on, going on, going on, boy. I got you. I, I got her. Now, come on. All right. Come on. All right. Have a good one now. All right. Bye-bye. 866-245-5480. Nephew. Crazy. Huh? <laughs> you crazy. And you get on my entanglements. 
I at least I at least entangle under the table. No, no, bro. I'm a side dude, okay? Everybody understand. <laughs> I, I ain't no secrets. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I don't need to make secrets. You know, listen, she ain't got to come down here all the time. I ain't got to go up there all the time. I ain't saying she can't do what she got to go do. If her, if her real man called her, stay on up there. You good? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Occasional visits. Yeah. Eight six six two four five fifty four eight. So you say that if a, if your if your um girl came to you like that, real talk, you out? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm out. Um, mm. I, I I, and that's regardless on how much I like her, because how much I like her is probably gonna make it worse. How much I like her is probably gonna make that whole situation worse. And I would like to disconnect in a way where it's not emotional and at least so we can both move on faster and better mm-hmm. in my case. Because, like I said, she probably did earn that trip or earn yeah, that. Yeah, she did. You know what I mean? You know, and I don't, probably she did. Yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to be that guy that's going to be like, no, you can't take that job. You got to. No, take the job mm-hmm. just to keep from other complication because I know it's going to come with me. We just want to break up. Mm. Do what's good for you, and I'm going to find a way to be better without you. Mm. That's how I'm going to view it. Because you don't pass up, in my opinion. Cause, cause yeah, this, yeah, you don't pass up no not good opportunity. No, not, not at all. No. Yeah. And, and I'll tell it like that. I'm like, man, you don't give it. No. That's money. That's <laughs> changing money. <laughs> I, but you know something? If a woman came to me, um, and I, and I was in love with her, I would definitely give it some thought, bro, before I just up, you know, even though I'm, I'm a hard-nosed guy, but if I was in love with a woman, at this stage of my life. At this stage? At this stage. When I'm oh, younger, okay. no, but at this stage of my life, I'm, I'm going to tell you, right, tell you it, right now, bro, it's tough to find a woman that you're compatible with at my age that you really like. Then I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? And the options out there of what you really like is slim pickings. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. You know what I mean? So you, you made a good point. But yeah. At, at my younger age. And uh, at you, you where you are, bro. Nah. I, you know, I'd be like peace, peace and hair grease. Yeah, be on the body. Yeah. But at this age right now, I, I can't sit here and lie to people. Um, depending on where I am and what I got going on in my life, real talk, <sighs> <laughs> bro. I make a, I may consider it because if I'm really in love with this woman and she brings everything to the table, she just got to be in another state. You know what I'm saying? And she, but she's in another state, but she, that's where her bread going to be. I, I will look at it, okay, what I'm doing is that transferable to where she may be. But you made a good point, though. You know what I'm saying? And I would do this here. I would definitely have to say, well, because you're making the choice and it's abrupt in our relationship, and I want to help people out with this, that I have to, you have to go ahead and be there for a while to see where that takes you and let us go back and forth for a little while. Because mm-hmm. what I don't want to do is uproot and leave. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. If I'm going to up with and leave, I don't want to put that pressure on you. If we break up, that is your fault. So let's go up there. Let's see where we are. <laughs> I'm but, feel like that. <laughs> no, but but see, but at my age, like I said, I'm gonna have more mature conversation. Yeah. Because are we leading to marriage? Um, am I the guy that you think you may want to be married to? And before I have that conversation with her, I'm going to see to myself if this is a woman that I want to be with for a lifetime. Because if there's a woman that I want to be with for a lifetime, nephew, you, you think I'm gonna let a couple of states or a couple of hours keep me away from her? <sighs> I am. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But, but like I said, though, you made a good point. Yeah. It it, it, it do get kind of slim pickings. To yeah. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? And when you make it, and people know this when you're around my age, right? When you make a connection with somebody that's really right and everything about them is good, bro, you're not, nine times out of ten, if you can, you're not going to let a job offer take them out your life. But you just got to know where it's going. You know what I mean? You just got to know where that's going, bro. Because if it's transferable and you can go up there, for me, it's like, okay, if we, if I've been with you for over a year, I'm kind of at the place now that I know, do I want to move into that thing? So are you willing to get engaged? Hey, I'm going to tell you like this then. Uh-huh. Uh, 20s and, and lower, uh-huh. she is a goner. <laughs> uh-huh. um, well, you know, Eric said that's grown man talk, but I'm just being honest, man. You know, if, if you're in a relationship, bro, all right, y'all. We gotta get ready to get in the body here. But if you're in a relationship, hang out with you. Hang out with us. We're gonna be on, on on social media right after this. But y'all know who's coming up, man. They finna take you on home. It is TR three Trent Richardson and the one and only Richard, Richard Ray. Ray. And they gonna have a crew with them today, so you guys stay locked in. We'll see you guys tomorrow on What Women versus Men. Jatim Temo, Aistemas, Ilibadi. What does that mean? I love you. See y'all later. <sighs>
Uh, but I do believe, y'all, if you're in a relationship with somebody... Facebook. We, I, we have Facebook. But, you know, um, if you're in a relationship with somebody, 